are those kind of guys surfacing, or what are those guys showing? Absolutely. So um, they're um, behind Marcus, just learning from him every day, um, becoming better, and um, they should get a lot of playing time this year, help our defense. Any of the real young guys that have impressed you so far? Um, Raekwon Jones, that linebacker, is coming along well. Um, every day he's getting better and seeing progression in his development. Do you guys expect to, to, to blitz a little bit more without, you know, Manjiri and Shaw on the court for GNs this year? Yeah, I mean, it's, our defense is like pretty much attacking defense, so um, we blitzing from all over, not just the DNs, linebackers blitzing, safety corners blitzing, so we got a blitzing defense. When, when you're going against, uh, maybe not that much, but when you do against Feeney, what, what's it like? What, what makes him tough? His just attitude, like practice, walk through, whatever. He just got a demeanor like his game day, you know? So just having that demeanor is just what makes him an elite player. Uh, what about like from a strength technique standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. He's great on technique, um, strength. He's amazing. Um, he's good with his hips, his hands, shooting his hands. So he's an amazing athlete. And then you have, without violating any team rules, any funny stories or interesting stories about Dan, or is he always fairly quiet and serious? Uh, I mean, he's not quiet, but I don't have a lot of funny stories about him, none at all. Okay. <laughs> Looking back at camp, I mean, now that you're starting a new phase here, what did you like about the camp? Um, I just like the process, um, just the new defense, new coaching, um, and the way our defense handled it. Handled it. So, um, I mean, just with that situation, I know that our defense want to win, want to be better. So that was the most um, impressive to me. So things you think you're doing better as a player? Um, just running the defense. Um, I'm getting a grasp of this defense. and. Um, I feel like I'm in control on the field. Um, me and Marcus both together, so that's an um, improvement for me. With Coach Allen's enthusiasm, like I think what one time he, he sort of ran an interception back for a touchdown, kind of. I, I mean, is that is that fun? Is it uh, is it odd? I guess how would you describe it? I don't think it's odd. I think that's what we need. Um, just from a defense that haven't had success in the past, just something different like that, like with the energy. Um, like I said, he's the first one to tell you if you do something wrong, and he's the first one to celebrate you, with you when you do something right. So I think that's a good, um, good step that he's taking for our defense, helping us out. He's talked a lot about trust. I mean, how have you seen that manifest? Um, nobody's worrying about nobody else's job. Everybody's just doing their own job. Um, linebackers trust the defense, D DBs, DBs trust the D line, get to the, um, if we in man coverage, the DBs trusting that the D line to get there in time to help them out. So everybody just trusting everybody. How much was that an issue the last couple of years? I mean, just the, you know, the lack thereof trust. I think it was a big issue. Um, and I can speak for myself just trying to do other, not even do other people's job, but just help out other people um, in the past. So, um, I think just this defense is just like really tunes that out and we just trust each other. Is that really hard though when you think of, you know, I, I'd like to help out here, but I got to stay here? Yeah, and that's all about being disciplined. And that's what our coach talked about day in and day out, just being disciplined. You know, sessions different. I mean, you guys have been around for a while at your position. There. Film been the same. I mean, we get together a lot and um, talk about our mistakes more, but. Um, position room still the same. We in our separate rooms and doing what we got to do.